Hey everyone, so I wanted to uh, get back to finishing up these seventh chords. I only had a few more that I wanted to try to cover, and uh, the first one of those is going to be the half diminished shape there. So this one's going to be notated kind of like by a little degree sign, but then with a slash through it there for the half diminished. So it's uh, diminished just like the other chords that we've talked about, where it's the root flat third, flat fifth, but then you've got the, of course, the flat seventh added onto it since we're talking about the seventh chords. Uh, so just to give you a shape, this isn't one that I use a ton, but uh, it's got some interesting shapes and things that might be able to squeeze into a song and uh, be kind of interesting for you there. So if I was to do like an A half diminished chord, I could do this for example. So that's uh, the A is my root of course, uh, the E flat is going to be my flat fifth, then we've got our flat seventh down there with the G, and then C is our flat third. So that could be an option for the uh, A half diminished. If I just move everything up there, since that top note is my root, then that would be like the A sharp or B flat. This would be a B, that would be a C uh, half diminished there. Uh, while I'm on the, uh, the B half diminished shape there, I could also uh, kind of invert the notes a little bit here. Uh, let's see if I did this. This would be like a root and then a flat third, seventh, another root, and then your flat fifth all the way up there on the high E string. So that could be another option for you, just like with the C, how I could do this. And just take that shape like we covered in the beginning, but it's going to be up here. Uh, let's see, I could also say so put my C at the 8th fret, and then it's almost kind of like making a A minor beneath it there. That could be another way to make it, and uh, even this shape right here. Let's see if this was uh, like a D half diminished shape there. So again, that's the uh, root, flat 5th, flat 7th, flat 3rd on top. And that can move around. I feel like this is a chord that people might make on accident, trying to make something else, and it doesn't sound right in that context, but uh, you know, with the right chord before or after it, it could be pretty cool. So I'll go ahead and wrap this one up, and then uh, I'll probably make a video on the uh, fully diminished here next. Thanks.